Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth's Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a summer inspired soap called Pink Lemonade and I'm using from Wholesale Supply Plus uh, this Crafter's Choice Pink Lemonade fragrance oil and it smells really fresh and bright and so for the colors I'm going to do a combination yellow here. It's called Buttercup Mica from Brambleberry and I'm going to add a little from Nurture Soap this Shimmer Gold Mica just to sort of make it more sparkly. And then for the pink, because it's pink lemonade, I'm going to use Watermelon Punch um, from Nurture Soap, and that's going to be the pink swirl in it. Uh, so we're just going to make a fun, swirly, fresh, summery soap today. So I'm going to gather all my ingredients. For my liquid portion, I'm going to use organic aloe vera juice, because I thought that sounded soothing on the skin. A lot of people deal with sunburns and things in the summer, so uh, aloe vera juice I thought would do good in this soap. I'm going to gather all the ingredients together, get my oils melted and cooled, and we will come back and make some pink lemonade soap. And I'm back, and I've got all my oils are melted and cooled, and to my oils I have added uh, organic colloidal oats and kale and clay. And I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance oil in here uh, before I add my aloe vera lye solution. And the reason is I'm going to be splitting this off a couple of times, and I want everything to have a nice um, equal scent dispersed throughout the entire batch of soap. So I'm just going to blend in the fragrance here and then we'll go ahead and add our aloe vera lye solution which has tussa silk fibers in it. And I'm going to add a little sodium lactate in here as well. Okay, so here we go with our organic aloe vera juice. Oops, don't want my spatula to tip over. And I'm just going to hand stir this. That will hopefully afford us a little bit of time here to do some stuff. What I'd like to do is, I have a little bucket here, I want to split off a little portion of this and pour a bottom layer onto the bottom and I have this really cute comb that I got on Amazon. It's a cake frosting comb. It came in a pack of different little edges and uh, my husband measured it to the width of my mold and cut it off so I can drag this along. So that is my intention to do that with the bottom layer here. So right now I'm just going to get the lye solution really incorporated well before I split off my bottom layer and I'm going to color it a nice that watermelon punch from Nurture Soap it will be a beautiful, vibrant pink color for our pink lemonade, which this smells really juicy and good. I'm very happy with the scent. Eh, I think I'll do a little more for the bottom. Oh, dripping. Let me clean up my drips. Okay. And I'm going to set the bulk aside and come over here to my little container. And I've dispersed this uh, beautiful pink in a little bit of the oils so that it'll blend really nice and smooth. And I am going to stick blend this because I want to get a nice, um, pretty good trace going on it so it'll firm up when I pour the top layer on. Grab my stick blender here and get it where you can see. <coughs> medium trace on this, so let me grab my spatula here and get this poured in. Oh, that pink lemonade scent smells really nice. It's very fresh and juicy, juicy smelling. I love citrus. And you know, I find my customers really tend to migrate, especially in the hot months, towards a good fresh citrus scent. So let me get that. All right. And I'm just going to tap out the air bubbles and I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, and then I will come back in with my little comb and try to make a nice little comb on the top. So 
We'll be back when it's ready to go. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for my base here to firm up a little, I'm going to go ahead and split off and add my colors and um, just so I'm ready to go for my in the pot swirl topper on all of this. I'm not going to stick bland. I want these to stay nice and liquid while we're waiting for the bottom to firm up. There we go. And to this, I've got my beautiful yellow and gold mixed. It came out such a pretty color. Really happy. Hope it stays nice and bright. There's our beautiful watermelon punch, pretty, pretty pink. All right. And let's see. Just give this a quick little stir here and we'll let it sit off to the side while we wait for our base. Oh, look, I've got pink for the pink. How perfect is that? Okay. Set this off to the side and come over here and see if we are ready to move forward. And I have a little flower mold that I'll scoop the excess off onto. we're ready to move on here. This is firmed up pretty nicely and it held the grooves in there really pretty. So I am going to stick blend just a little um, to firm it up and get my colors blended. Now yellows will do this where it turns sort of orangey um, but it will turn back to yellow after it uh, saponifies so no worries there. And if it did stay orange it's a beautiful orange but um, It'll go back to yellow. Or, or yellows tend to do that. So I'm just going to do a real quick stick blend to thicken this up to a nice light trace. And we'll go yellow to pink. And there we go. It's a light trace, but it's, it's good. So let's come over to the pink here. an in-the-pot swirl and I'm going to hang back a little bit of uh, these colors to do a little drizzly swirl on top. There's, there we go. And I'll just keep a little bit for the top and we'll come in with our pink. Sort of just swizzle it around. There we go. And I'm just going to give this a quick turn, and that's it. Get our mold over here. I'm going to use my spatula to break the fall on this because I don't want to break the surface area on this. Let's see. There we go. Can you see it better?
spray this down with rubbing alcohol and let it go through gel phase tonight and we'll come back tomorrow for the cut. It's the next morning and here is our pink lemonade and see how the orangey turned back to yellow and oh it smells good. Let's get it out of the mold here.